On behalf of Monika and Clarence, I want to thank you for being here. In fact, when this day started to take birth in their minds, they had to think, who is going to share this incredible day with us? And it was all of you. All of you who represent their nearest and dearest relationship. When you looked across at the other, what was it about them that allowed your heart to say, yes, I'm going to be available to them? And Clarence said, Monika is honest. She, you don't have to guess what she's thinking. You don't have to guess what's on her mind. She'll let you know. She's attentive. She knows how to make her man feel important and feel as though he's the only thing in front of her in her, in her attention span. She's kind. Who doesn't need a kind woman in their presence? And she's gentle. Those are the things that Clarence recognized about you. And I asked the same question, well, what was it about Clarence? And her response was, he's strong. And he's got this sense of adventure where you just do anything at any time, be spontaneous. I can't even tell you some of the stories they shared with me about his spontaneous. <laughs> Cracker Barrel, seriously? <laughs> try, to, try to fool an entire group of people that can play the harmonica. I just don't think that's even fair. But he's also fun, as you can tell. There's a sense of joy that is on our faces as we spend any amount of time with him. And his sincerity, a quality that Monika definitely needed in somebody she was going to spend her life with. Life will come and it'll take us out at the legs, at the knees when we least expect it. But now you have someone that is watching out for you, watching when you look unstable and lifting you up, reaching down to you to help you when you have seemingly crumbled. And when you feel your legs giving way, you can reach out and stabilize. So many people in this room and some that have passed and who are spirits dwell with us today have modeled that to you and have instilled that into you. And for, for that, they are eternally grateful for your role and influence. At this point, you two know each other as much as anybody in this room. And you have a chance to open yourself up and to be known. Amidst all the wild craziness of this world that we live around, you get to retreat into the safety and warmth of each other's arms. And as you open and give yourself to one another, something beautiful will happen. Trust, security, safety. You will indeed keep each other warm. Father, as you hear the hearts of these two and their desire to love and honor and respect one another, Father, I just pray that you would give them wisdom beyond their years. I pray that you would give them the ability to love each other in a way that, they, that defies all logic, that they would be able to respect one another in a way that is desperately needed. I pray that you would bless all the things that they, they endeavor to do. I pray that you would bless their careers, that they would find favor in the workplace, that you bless their finances as they make wise stewardship decisions. You bless their influence, uh, not only over their family, but over their community that they reside in, and that you would make them world changers in the way that you have wired them to do. I lift them up to you, and we celebrate the love that you have cultivated, and we look forward to the great story that you will write in their journey as husband and wife. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, Clarence, you ready for us to rise?